Welcome juniors to the class of 2022 student services presentation. Brought to you by your counselors. We have Mrs. Gregorio. She is in charge of students with the last names A through D. Miss Murray has students with the last names E through K. Mr. O'Connor has students with the last names L through Q. And Miss Jones, who has students with the last names S through Z. We also have some counselors that are located in student services that don't have specific caseloads that, that may be of assistance to you. We have Mr. Ellington, he is our Dean of Students. We have Mrs. Crawford, she is our Student Assistance Counselor. And we have Mrs. Hernandez, who is the ninth grade counselor. She's new to Holly Springs High School year, this year. First thing we want you to do is check out our website. We've got a lot of good resources on this website. Things that you need to know about planning for your future, whether that be college or military or two-year college, there's a lot of things that you can think about to do in your future, and this website will help you guide yourself through your high school years in order to be prepared for that. So please check out our webpage. There's a lot of really good information on that. Let's talk about graduation requirements. You probably know most of these, but it's always good to review them so you don't get stuck trying to graduate and you don't have everything you need. You need four credits of English, four credits of math, four credits of social studies, three credits of science, one credit of health and PE, and 10 electives. You have to total 26 credits to graduate from high school. Let's talk about GPA. Some of you know what the GPA is, some of you don't, so I'm gonna tell you. GPA stands for grade point average. Basically, what you're doing is you're taking your grades, you're turning them into points, and then you're averaging them together. Simple as that. Although, sometimes it can't, it's not as simple. But you take all of your grades from every single high school class that you've taken, you turn them into a point based on this chart right here, and then you average them together. So an A is worth four points, a B is worth three points, a C is worth two points, a D is worth one point, and an F is not worth any points at all. But I don't think you'll have to be worrying about that. Now, let's say you're taking some honors and AP courses. There is something called a weighted GPA. This means by taking these honors and AP courses, you get to add a few more points to your GPA average. So if you take an honors course and you get an A, you get to add 4.5. If you take an AP and you get an A, you get to add five. So basically with the honors courses, you're adding an extra half a point to your GPA. For the AP courses, you're adding an extra full point. So this does help out your weighted GPA. If it's unweighted, there's no extra points added in. It's only based on a 4.0 scale. So there is a difference between weighted and unweighted GPA. If you have questions about this, please feel free to email your counselor because it can get a little complicated. Let's talk standardized tests, SAT and ACT. These tests are usually required when you are applying to college. Now, things are a little different this year for this year's seniors, and we really don't know what that's gonna look like for you guys. So, in order to not predict the future, we're gonna talk about the ACT. The ACT is given at Holly Springs High School to all juniors in February. Usually the end of February, and sometimes it's at the beginning of March. But you can expect to take the ACT at school in February or March. So this is a good thing, because you don't have to sign up for the ACT, you don't have to pay for it, and the school provides this for you. 
this is an actual ACT that you can use when you're applying to college. So make sure you start studying and take it very seriously. Let's say SAT. You might want to take the SAT. SAT is just a different kind of college test. They are very different kinds of tests, but both are used for the same purpose. Every college that I know of takes SAT or ACT. They're interchangeable, but I don't know every single college in the United States. So you gotta do your research on that. So if you take the ACT here at school, you may wanna sign up to take the SAT as well. The SAT is offered on Saturdays and you must sign up for that on your own. That is through the collegeboard.org. Usually counselors recommend you try one of each test, then proceed to retake the test of the one you feel more comfortable with. But every student is different. So really, this is something that you could consult your counselor about to maybe come up with a plan for you. Not to mention with COVID, those schedules of those exams have been a little bit off and they're adjusted. So this is something that in order to be more individualized, feel free to reach out to your counselor to discuss your ACT or SAT options, but do keep them on the radar. One thing we wanna mention is a program called Career and College Promise. A lot of times people refer to it as CCP. Some of you are already in this program. Actually, many of you are always already in this program. And this is, you are taking Wake Tech classes and also taking high school classes. So the Wake Tech classes that you are taking through the community college also count as high school credits. These are also college credits. These are also college credits that you can use to transfer to a four-year university. So this is a very neat program in which you can utilize some of your credits in high school to really help you get ahead on college. This is free. As long as you're enrolled in high school, you do not have to pay for those community college courses. You have to have a 2.8 GPA or higher and maintain a 2.0 GPA in all the college credits that you take. This is a really neat program. If you'd like to learn more information about this program, you can go to the Wake Tech Career and College Promise website that you see at the bottom of your screen. This gives a lot of information about this program. If you'd like to look at it for second semester, you need to get moving on that now. You can't wait till the beginning of second semester and sign up for the college classes. There are a couple steps that you'll need to complete before you are ready to sign up. And you can get started with those steps by accessing the website. You may also reach out to your counselor to get some input from your counselor about how to proceed. Let's talk about your junior year. What do you guys need to be doing now? The first thing is, Keep up your grades, complete all your schoolwork, pay attention to your Google Meets, your Google assignments, your, um, I guess you don't have Zoom, but you have your Canvas. Make sure that you are keeping yourself organized so that you can complete all your work, do it to the best of your ability so that you can maintain the highest GPA that you possibly can. Another thing you could do is get a job or do some volunteer work. Now I know with COVID, it can be a little difficult to do that now, but if you can find something that you can do, it would help your college application when you list your volunteer work and work experience so that you have something to put down. And it also shows good leadership and good community service. So we also have a bunch of clubs at Holly Springs High School. And you might be thinking, well, how are we gonna do clubs when we can't even meet? Well, we're gonna have some virtual meetings and they will be starting soon. They will be notifying you of club meetings through your school email. So you need to be checking your school email on a regular basis. And I think most of you are doing that now. So keep up the good work. 
Continue working closely with your teachers and your counselors. This is a very important step. You might wanna take some virtual college visits. You might wanna start looking and doing some research about local colleges or colleges that have majors that you're interested in. This is a good time to do some research about college. If you're interested in military, good time to contact a recruiter or look at some military websites to get more information. You can also work on your resume or your brag sheet. This is making a list of all of this stuff that you are doing during all your high school years. Because when it does come time to apply to college and ask your teacher for a recommendation, this is a good thing to supply to your recommenders. It helps them to get to know you on all different kinds of levels. Knowing what you've done outside of school is a very important part of writing a recommendation letter. So this is something you can be doing now as well to get a jump start. Another thing we wanna make sure you're doing is taking care of yourself. These are different times. We're all adjusting and it can be a little stressful. So these are some things that we listed that hopefully you are doing. You gotta make self-care a priority. Take it easy on yourself. Do some of the things that you enjoy. Set up a comfortable space for your remote learning. Maintain a daily schedule. Include physical activity in your daily schedule. Maintain contact with your peers. And try reframing your mind when having anxious thoughts. I wanna go back to Ms. Crawford. I mentioned her at the beginning of the presentation. She has some very important roles here at Holly Springs High School, and she is also a counselor that you can access. She supports all students through individual and small group counseling and classroom guidance. She works to address the social emotional well being of students. She works with pregnant and students who are already parents. She works to address student attendance. Maybe you're having to be out of school for a long period of time or have some health concerns. She also ser serves as a contact for students who is in housing transition. This is an important role for her. She also helps connect families to community resources like food and other basic needs, maybe school supplies or other things that a family might need. We have a Holly Springs High School carrying closet. Ms. Birch keeps a lot of things here at school that your family may need. So please reach out to Ms. Birch if you need any help with anything. I've listed again your counselor's contact information. We have shared this with you in our meets on Wednesday and we are sharing it again just to make sure that you know how to contact your counselor. That's all for today. I hope you learned a lot and we can't wait to see you soon. Have a good day.